Mount Strobel News fans, you know I hate Sun Media. Hate it with a passion. And guess what? I just found someone who has to be the most absolutely insane Christian right wing of the group. Chris Sims uh, of the Parliamentary Bureau is possibly the single most ignorant person at the entire company. Now, previously, if you saw my pre uh, previous video of uh, poning Michael Corrin on uh, re uh, honor killings, uh, Chris Sims is the woman that he was talking to in the video. Now, all of this is about Ottawa. Uh, the Museum of Science and Technology has opened up a new sex education section to it. Sex education, very important. That's an objective fact. Uh, the, uh, when the sex education section was uh, opened, uh, they said you had to be 16 and up to be able to go in. Uh, previously, before the sex education part, you had to be 12 and up, while Chris Sims actually complains and says that people were outraged and thus they upped it, they upped the age, which is not true. They actually changed it when it opened because of what could be the very sensitive nature of sex even after all these centuries. Now, she said that supposedly, she said that many people complained and, and called it disgusting and all, this, and all these other, other things, as you know, Christians always complain about anything that has to do with sex. Now, uh, of all these people that were so offended and disgusted by it, she managed to speak to one of them. It very quickly became apparent to myself and my wife that this was revolting. They were encouraging kids to have multiple partners, have anal sex, and the words they used were inappropriate. This felt like a sexual agenda being pushed. In actuality, the agenda being pushed here was sexual education, something that the Christian right is absolutely known for abhorring. It's absolutely, it's absolutely terrible by them that they would take an educational thing and try to turn it into some kind of perverted thing. Because in their mind, all sexuality is. Um, basically, the exhibit wasn't telling kids to go and have multiple partners. Well, aside from the fact that you had to be 16 to actually get in. It was saying it's okay to choose the sexual partners that you want. And it was basically combating slut-shaming. You can choose your own sexual partners, however many that you want. And that society doesn't have the right to tell you, or any religious conception has the right to tell you how many you're allowed to have and what kind you're allowed to have. But seeing as how it was directly challenging religious ideas, the Christian right people, particularly Chris Sims, had a problem with this. Now, at this point, she starts des describing the exhibits. The exhibit includes floor-to-ceiling photos of nude toddlers, children, teens and adults, and an array of heated, flavored, and textured condoms rolled over wooden dildos. So basically, there was diagrams and scientific information, scientific information showing the sexual development of human beings. That's absolutely necessary. It's called education. If you leave kids in the dark about stuff like this, they're going to make stuff up. I remember being a kid and not knowing what certain things meant. And my friend said, oh, you know, it's this. And it was like some completely outrageous thing because we didn't have enough of an education on these things. And I can imagine how only bad it was back in the 50s with this kind of thing. And it's, it's, it's basically just sexual education showing the changes that the body goes through in a very frank, straightforward and scientific manner that needs to be done, not in a shameful, harmful, closed off kind of way. She, however, continues. There's also a climax room with a round, low leather bed, red curtains, a video screen showing animation of aroused genitals, and the voice of a man describing an orgasm. Next to a close-up of photos of adult genitals are video screens using animations to explain masturbation. So basically, this is sex education. You have to explain what these things are, how they work, and why, so that they can understand what they are, instead of getting some titillated taboo ideas about what sexuality is. This, is, in this entire article by her is nothing more than a complaint of sexual education. Why is she hating on education you know, so much? And she continues. Next to a printed question, why do boys always want to have anal sex? Sexologist Jamie Ryan responds that not all boys want to do it. If you are comfortable trying that activity, go ahead and do it. It could be fun for you, but if you are not, you really don't have to do it. This is supposedly the part where there's an anal agenda. 
And that's what she calls it right in the article, wondering if there's an anal agenda. Telling girls that this is an option they can do if they want, if they feel comfortable doing it, to try it if they want. Somehow that becomes a command to go ahead and do it. This, this is insane. This is some of the most backward religious ignorance that I've seen in quite a long time. This is not telling kids anything, considering that you have to be 16 to get in, which I actually think is too old because most sexual activity nowadays seems to be starting at 14, so this is actually two years too late, and this should actually be coming, coming in a lot earlier. And another point that she's also forgetting is that this is not mandatory. You do not have to come here. No one is forcing anyone to be here for this. This is just, this is just typical right-wing Christian idiocy, thinking everything is porn, everything sexual is shameful, should not be discussed and hidden and pretend as though it doesn't exist. That's nothing short of deliberate ignorance and something that absolutely must be combated. The sexual education works. It is an objective fact that cannot be denied. Every single country that ever carries out sexual education has seen a decline in teen pregnancy, a decline in teen STDs, and even a, a, a decline in actual teen sexual activity. Education works. And no matter how immoral they want to say it is, or whatever kind of BS statistics that they can absolutely come up with, sexual education is absolutely necessary. It's not just necessary, it seems as necessary as human beings to fully understand our sexuality, to fully understand what it is that our bodies are going through at the time, to understand why we are the way we are. And the religious right just doesn't like that. This is just more Christian hating of education by Chris Sims.